Endlessly searching for an original sin. Game's picking our cave machine and we're all just going what? Alright, ready, set. Hey guys, welcome to the next part of Sam and Max. And as always, I'm joined with... Trinkle Phoenix. And we are jumping into the next episode, which is Reality 2.0. We get to watch the opening here. Keep in mind, I'm watching on Skype, or whatever the hell you want to call it, and if I talk on top of them, I'm sorry. This part, it's fine, because, you know, we don't want to get copyright for the music, which actually, Telltale's actually done to me. They have? Yeah! And it made me Ooh. laugh because it was like, this is owned by Telltale's YouTube channel. I'm like, what? They have a YouTube right. channel? Yeah, they do. Really? I don't know. Do they? Unrest in the Dakotas. Dispatch equal numbers of giant battle robots to all sides. Whoever survives, claim we backed them all along. Illegal immigration. Let the new guys pilot the giant battle robots. Criticism that your domestic policy is too giant battle robot based. They can take it up with my new press secretary, the Mametron 9000. If that's the guys from Air Force One, tell them they get the keys back once they say the magic word. Quiet, Max. It's the commissioner. Total collapse of the economy and downfall of Western civilization? Great grinning head of John the Baptist in a pork pie hat stuffed in a rhinestone bowling bag. We're on our way. We've got a computer crisis to take care of, little buddy. Have they tried turning it off and back on again? <laughs> Bigger than that, Max. Computers everywhere are going haywire. Planes are falling from the sky. Nuclear reactors are nearing meltdown. And scores of pasty white nerds will be forced to go outdoors and socialize with normal people. The horror. Where do we start, Sam? The National Consortium of Smart People who are good with computers has been tracking electron surges all over the country. And one of the biggest is right here in our neighborhood. What an unbelievably convenient coincidence. How do we find an electron surge? No idea. Let's go. Just a reminder, guys. Max is president. Did you just see a giant floating robot head outside the window earlier? No, I didn't notice that. Everybody so else probably saw that. Here we go. So let's just kind of fuck around. I have been yelled at because I don't check the closet enough, by the way. Did I get yelled at for anything? Because I never check the comments. Hungry, Leonard? <laughs> okay, maybe later then. I have a question. <laughs> if he's been mad the whole time, who's been letting him use the bathroom? Why do you think he's so pissed off? Ah, uh, of course. The teddy bear that terrorized a TV station. Creepy doll or should not be in the closet. Even if he was How's just a puppet, Max, don't you think it's unsettling to keep the head of the former president inside our closet? You're right, Sam. We need to get a pike. No, Max. No. The fro behind Brady Culture's unfashionable hypnosis plot. This is our, our like, closet of things that we get from being a bad guy. We are apparently sociopaths, and we keep all this shit from the things we do, which I didn't think we should. The little rat's not home. Isn't that a good thing? Yeah, he's smart. He doesn't stick around, because otherwise we'd be, like, holding him captive. Well, that is true. Lincoln's head, still at large. <laughs> They're still looking for his head. Oh, you did say you saw a head, didn't you? Yeah, it was a, a flying robot head. I said the window, so yeah. And I have to look out the window. Hey, there's a parade coming. I love a parade. Oh, sorry. Looks like it's just another angry mob protesting your barbaric school lunch program. Again? They just don't recognize genius. <laughs> <laughs> How's our fish? Can I? Whee! Hello, Mr. Vice President. Oh my god. I'm sorry, Sam, but I have a re-election campaign to think about. And let's face it, you are not a hit with the aquatic voters. Alright, let's check for messages. Oh look, we stole the carpet from the Hello, Mr. President. This is Margie, your scheduling assistant with some changes for this week. 
You still have impeachment hearings on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, but the one on Wednesday has been pushed back for your war crimes trial. Thanks. Go, Matt. You've only been president for how many days? Hello again, oh, Mr. President. No. Just a reminder that you're still oh, scheduled to visit middle schools this week to remind kids of the importance of staying in school. As usual, we'll have therapists on hand after your speech to talk with the more traumatized children. I want to see this one more. <laughs> one more oh, thing, Mr. Kids. President. Your opponents have finally decided to cancel their weekly election ballot recounts. According to your calendar, that should free up the hour and a half each week you have marked as time to gloat. <laughs> <laughs> Max is best supervillain. Let's go see uh, Bosco. If it wants to load. There we go. <laughs> it took its time. It's in our inventory. Oh, hey, we, we have the boxing glove for once. We don't have hey. to actually find it. You can go into the alleyway because we never go there. Let's find out. I don't think so. No, he doesn't seem to want to go in there. Oh, wait, yeah, you kind of can. I still don't see why we had to throw out a perfectly good carpet. It didn't match the drapes. Okay, we're moving on. <laughs> no, Max. That joke already came up in Discord. Gonna fire the White House again. Demotes Florida to a territory. Yeah, I, I, that would be a smart thing to do. <laughs> oh, hey, Bosco's no hey binoculars. Mine. Don't touch my binoculars. What? What the fuck is on your ear? Hey, Bosco. Greetings and well met, friend Watchmen for hire. Sam, how come I suddenly have a primal desire to beat Bosco savagely? Because he's talking like a Renaissance Fair attendee, Max. It's an innate fight-or-flight response. I am El Bosco Drill, the unhinged, mighty half-elf ranger! Why? Unhinged. unhinged. He so is unhinged. Of... I'm missing an ear. I like the poster on the wall. That is a nice poster. Okay, Bosco. While Max prepares the Thorazine, why don't you tell us why you've become an elf? Half-elf! And I'll tell you why. I've had multiple delivery conspiracies, I've had missiles aimed at me, and now I got rival arms dealers setting up shop in my store. Point being? It's not safe wait, for me here anymore. Rival I gotta take my business dealers. the only place I can feel 100% secure. The internet. <laughs> so he literally just confessed he's an arms dealer. Um, are you surprised at this point? No. I'm getting like a feel of like Dungeons and Dragons, World of Warcraft type feel right now. Yeah, but that's not how an half elf, elf works. What does no, this internet do, Mickey, yet. have to do with being an elf? <laughs> half elf. It's because everyone on the internet has to pick an avatar, like a At dwarf least didn't go or, with the or, other elf. or a hot young fifteen-year-old girl curious about the adult world and willing to experiment. I no, didn't Bosco. think it was possible, but he's actually less creepy as the elf. Half elf, fool! <laughs> I never mind. You guys don't understand how computers work. Bosco, that's illegal. Even on the internet. Nope. <laughs> You're taking your store online? Where will that leave us? We fear and mistrust computers. Don't worry, guys. My online store will offer twice the inconvenience at thrice the price. <laughs> Well, see you there. You son of a bitch. You have figured out how the internet works. How's business, Bosco? Business is deader than a valet parking attendant at a convention of mob informants. That bad, huh? That rat showed up and started taking all my customers. Free enterprise, Jack. Say what you will, I the rat knows his anarcho-capitalist economic philosophy. Max, I only bought you those encyclopedias because you promised me you couldn't read. <laughs> I love how horrible this game is. 
Well, it could have made it even more horrible if it said he could have been a different kind of elf, but I'm not going to go there. I don't... What kind of other elf are you even talking about? She's going to send it to me on Skype. She yep. did. <laughs> they could have, but they didn't. He does they have a blue dare. ear. He does have a blue ear. Exactly. Just just leave it for everyone to guess, because that's really, that one I actually didn't even think of. Well, it doesn't say what kind of elf he is, and he does have a blue ear. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. Yeah. We want to buy something. I have the finest goods in all the land. Tell him pay him just to stop talking like that. What would Squire care to purchase? I will beat a motherfucker if he keeps talking like that. <laughs> I want to get the actual Bosco to do that, but with his, I think with his broken English, it would just be amazing. What have you got? Oh, not much. Just a virulent biological weapon. All right. Biological weapons. We don't like to judge. Speak for yourself, Sam. But isn't germ warfare a little on the south side of ethical? I've got to compete to stay in the market, guys. If an arms dealer is going to open up shop in my store, I've got to up the ante. Okay, if it's your store, can't you just throw them out? Oh, yeah, I mean, it's still your store, right? I mean, I know Bosco is completely and utterly an idiot, but... This even I kind of draw the line of being that stupid. I'm, I'm going to be afraid to ask. All right, how much for this virulent biological weapon of yours? One billion dollars. We'll take it. What's another billion or so to the national deficit? I'm sorry. For safety reasons, I no longer accept cash in the store. You'll have to pay online. That's pretty inconvenient. Thank you. Bosco, you we're just gonna leave now. On second thought, <laughs> nothing for us now. And this is how As PayPal was invented. Wish, but don't blame me when you're stuck in the torched wasteland with nary a bag of enchantment to defend thyself. It's okay, I know how to make my own mana potions, I'm good. See you later, Bosco. <laughs> to the battle! Godspeed! I've been playing Tansy, I'm good. Of the Shire. Which you should try that game, it's a lot of fun. Come hey, here, Rat. Why do you have a cannon? Hands the merchandise, pigs! Because... You can use Oh! Come Rip. here! I didn't mean to click the cannon! Ooh. I, th I think that this is trying to click Lottery Jimmy, tickets, aka the donate to Bosco I charity. Click Jimmy, here we go. Because he's like, no. Well, if it isn't our favorite ethically challenged rat, Jimmy Two T. Sam was wondering where you'd scampered off to. I'm touched. I was wondering what embarrassing pose we'd use when we had you stuffed and mounted. Yeah, yeah. I'm scared out of my wits. You's gonna buy something or what? While we wait. <laughs> Alright, so why do you have a cannon? Why do you have a cannon? What's a two bit crook like you trying to sell this time? Competition out of the wire. I'll ignore that petty insult for the sake of a successful transaction. I'm selling the latest in interpersonal defense. You're an arms dealer? You make it sound so cheap. I deal in peace of mind. I call bullshit. What have you got in stock? Yeah, right now I only got this cannon. You guys look like you should just start out with handguns. We've we already got handguns. Oh, yeah? Where? Just trust him on that one. Uh, okay, you're under arrest. Freelance police, Mr. Teeth. You're under arrest. Come along quietly we and we'll only use excessive force instead of medieval. Ball. Just try it, pigs. Last time I checked, it was a free country. I'm working on that. <laughs> Why do I like Max so damn much? What have you been up to, Jimmy? You know, the usual knitting, working on my tan. What do you think I've been up to? Starting a business ain't easy. The Better Business Bureau is going to be hearing about that attitude of yours, mister. Don't get the Better Business Bureau on him. See you later, Jimmy. Hey, he's Maybe just a poor little if rat. you can find me. Give me. Hey, 
Hands off the merchandise, pigs! Ooh. Oh, that has to hurt. You get such a little time, I know what you have to do with this, but... Yeah, just, I'm gonna grab him oh, bullshit! Here. Oh, this is such... Okay, I think I got it. Yes! I'm stuck! As president, I resolve to address the nation's rat obesity problem without delay. Let me out of here! Oh, we'll let you out of there soon enough, Jimmy. Soon enough. You know I'm never letting him out of there, right? Well, we'd probably have to use him for something. That is true. Ah, the toilet literature section. <laughs> a fitting location for nearly everything in here. Bosco's just um, ignoring us, uh, like insulting everything. Prune nut. <laughs> well, he's probably used to it by now. Oh, sorry. I was thinking about something else. So I don't think there's anything else new in here. Let's get cracking. Let's head out. Let's go see Sybil. I wonder if she... Wow, Bosco has a lot more cameras now. Well, he did get two missiles shot at him. That is true. He's just a little paranoid. Jeez, I don't think I've seen a place with so many cameras. Come on. No, not the DeSoto. When you want the ability to run. I wonder what the is making today. I think in the next game they actually do give the ability to run, but or like in the next season. Because I know each season had slight upgrades to it. Better beta. Beta testing. Cancelled due to lack of interest. Hey, Sybil, have you... I'm surrounded! Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Stand back, Max. It sounds like Sybil's finally cracked. It's about time. Her relative stability was making the rest of the neighborhood look bad. Back, pit demons! With Sword of Righteous Fire, I cast thee away! This is just like that time we were hired as motivational speakers for that Sunday school. Actually, now that I look closely, it's more like our last case. And the three before that. If there's one thing I've learned to recognize recently, it's a hypnotic device. And those weird glasses are it. Launch stinging BBs of unholy smiting. To break her out of the trance, we'll have to deliver a blow to her head. You know, Sam, when you love what you do, it doesn't even feel like work. I mean... Those are really shitty. <laughs> VR glasses. And you can really tell what they are. Back, demons! Cat yep. ward of pungent unsavoriness! I can't get close enough to touch her, Max. I bet you a lot of girls have had to hear that from... You know what? Have a rat. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Poor Jimmy. I'd feel bad, but it's Jimmy. What happened? Am I at the respawn point? Is she coming on to us? <laughs> Wake up, Sybil. We freed you from those wacky techno goggles. Did you guys just hit me in the head with a rat fired from a cannon? It doesn't sound as cool when you say it. Hope you're not overly peeved. It was the only way to break your hypnotic trance. I wasn't hypnotized. I was playing a computer game. No need to thank us. We're freelance police. It's what we do. Thank you. You guys just ruined my new job. Your new job was flailing around like a hyperactive fan dancer while screaming gibberish? That job's already taken, lady. We're freelance police. It's what we do. I'm a beta tester. I was playing Reality 2.0 with those goggles. And look, you broke them. And I haven't even paid off the deposit. Um, we're not sorry. Ah, Reality 2.0. I suspected as much. It's a new, full immersion, interactive, massively multiplayer adventure. You play with these VR goggles and a Wi-Fi link to a distributed game server. You might want to explain some of your more elaborate terms to my technology-challenged little pal. I'm confused by your word, reality. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget you guys are Luddites. We are not. <sighs> We're just very good friends. Reality 2.0 is like a video game. You put on those goggles and enter a different world. It's going to be the biggest thing on the internet. But... 
No. What's a beta tester? I play computer games to find bugs that need to be fixed before release. Don't you have to have experience to do that? No. Nope. All you do is go through somebody else's hard work and point out what they did wrong. I was a therapist, remember? I mean, to be fair, have we seen how many games I've beaten and I, or how many games I've broken and I didn't even need any training for that? Mm -hmm. I mean, I've even got one right now that the dev's trying to help me with that doesn't even start up. What's wrong with the goggles? You broke them, that's what. It looks like the rear slot downstream signal framostat regurgitator chip is blown out. He has no idea what he's talking about, does he? Never. <laughs> so we need to get a new chip for it. Seems like it. What's so important about those goggles? Well, I paid a big deposit on them for one thing. They're the only way to get into Reality 2.0. And I'd bet Max's annual salary they're the only way to get to the bottom of this computer crisis. Wait, how is she online? Where did, yeah, you, get where did you get those goggles? From my new employers, of course. The cops. <laughs> Wait. Cops? We're all the police this neighborhood needs. And then some! No, not police. Cops. It's an acronym for Let Society of Boscos, something or other. I can never remember. Anyway, they're over they at Lefty's cops? old place. Yeah, how is she online and Bosco online? Yeah, I mean, weren't we told the internet was down because it was like a crisis at the moment? I still don't know. Know. Look for me in the unemployment line. You know what? This, you, if Telltale was funny and actually had a sense of humor now, they would make this, like, this one episode free on VR. Just to mess with people? It's a shame Telltale doesn't have a sense of humor anymore. <laughs> All right, let's go see these cops and tell them What's to stop. What's with the cover it. of the of the store? The sign. I've all oh, the letters are gone. Next item on next item on the agenda. I think it actually broke if for a minute. If you'd like to talk about the bake sale and raffle, press 1 now. If you know the name of the topic you'd like to raise, press 2 now. I hunger! The refreshments will be served after the meeting. I think we stumbled into the warehouse where Steve Wozniak makes erotic movies. Proximity alert! Hello, and welcome to the Computer Obsolescence Prevention Society. State your business. Um, okay. What's the big idea hypnotizing our friend Sybil with your hinky goggles? Sybil, P-A-N-D-E-M-I-K, inductee 48,726-5. She's enjoying reality 2.0. Rated E for everyone. Everyone! All will fall! There is no escape! If you'd like to join the internet and experience reality 2.0 for yourself, press or say yes now. Uh, did you say the internet? What does the internet have to do with hmm. your little virtual reality game? Like, the, the internet like, controls is it everything. Online or is it offline? Is it just for decision people? Where are we going? Game, a world of commerce. A world with neither boundaries nor exits. Now, using the combined computing power of an entire planet, that dream is becoming a reality. Reality 2.0. It's totally awesome! Wait, the internet? It makes sense. Only an entity with access to universal knowledge could cause computerized chaos on a global scale. It's not what you know, it's who you know! The Internet knows everyone. By making use of its multiple networks of personal contacts with other machines, the Internet has gathered the sheer computing power necessary to instantiate Reality 2.0. Fine, but where does the hypnosis come in? Reality 2.0 is rated E for everyone. Everyone! All will fall! There is no escape! Of course. <laughs> this isn't about screwing up computers at all. It's about the people. It is? Reality 2.0 is nothing less than a fiendish plot to hypnotically enslave... Well, everyone. Great! Then it's simple. All we have to do is destroy the Internet and all our problems are solved. Oh, God, no. <laughs> I, I'm gonna ask the dumb question. 
Where can we find this internet? Duofile! The internet is everywhere and nowhere. Divide by zero error. All computers on the planet are now working to create Reality 2.0. The only access to the internet is through Reality 2.0. Let's try this new reality. We'd like to play Reality 2.0. Reality 2.0 requires our advanced virtual reality goggles, which may not be available in some markets. If you already have a pair of goggles, press or say yes now. Sybil has a pair, but there's a broken part. Your goggles explode! Game over! Like a <laughs> hood of broken rear slot downstream signal from your staff regurgitator. 99.6%. Dispense replacement chip. Stop complaining and just do it. Poor Chippy. Enjoy your new signal premistat regurgitator chip and experience all that reality 2.0 has to offer. But I want to play too! I doubt they have a pair that will fit around your hideously oversized skull, Max. The whole family can enjoy reality 2.0. Take our complimentary goggles designed for special needs children so that the little ones can play along. <laughs> Aww. So... They had one for Max. Oh god. That's just what I'm thinking, he's not the one you want in there. Sybil asked us to tender her resignation. She's got seasonal affective disorder. And scurvy! That is too bad. There is a lot of that going around these days. I'm not gonna lie, Chippy is my new favorite one. I, uh, uh, yes, Chippy. Goodbye. Chippy. You cannot escape! You'll have to excuse him. He has a hard time saying goodbye. And hello and everything else in this world. Let's go, Gubana. Let's go get us some 3D, or some, uh, yeah, 3D. Fuck it. I'm tired. Wait, what is that? Secret serve ice cream? I don't think that's fooling anyone. Ooh, ice cream? I want some! <laughs> Impeach Max. Ferret Lake. Sequels to beloved classics are always better than the originals. Yes, Max. Yes, they are. Come here, Max. Whee! Lost Bye, Max. Bobo. Bobo? Yeah, there's a poster for Lost Giraffe called Bobo. Secret Service. No, I didn't mean to click that. Ooh, there, I see it. Yeah, I'm trying to get to it. Whee! But impeach President Lost Max. Lost giraffe. Oh, I saw him! Answers to Bobo. Oh, wrong giraffe then. Mine only answer to Lieutenant Ambrose Applesucker. Max, you aren't allowed to name things anymore. Come here. I wonder if we'll see the giraffe at any point. <laughs> that would kind of be neat. Like so if we... you go to like a certain place, it'd be like an Easter egg and you spot the giraffe. We're just gonna steal your things, don't worry. Also, yeah. is it scary that Max actually did know what he was talking about? Yep. The Seems chip scary. snap the light in. Can go no in soldering that. required. Aw, you know how I like to burn things. Cheer up and put on your orc kicking boots, little buddy. We're gonna have to play this game to get to the bottom of the world's internet crisis. It's a good thing your protective hat and my non-compatible brain render us both impervious to hypnotism. And it's a good thing you've been taking those classes in subtle exposition, pal. <laughs> now let's go. That is basically how VR is now. Hey, Good neat. Much. I had a dream nice like this there. once. You sold me a defective walrus and then vanished in a puff of orange smoke. Welcome to Reality 2.0, the perfect place of perfect happiness. I'm your host, the Internet. I didn't think the Internet had a face. Reality 2.0 is a lot like Familiar? Sybil's office. Reality 2.0 is designed to be superior to ordinary reality in every way. Sam still looks the same. That's because I'm already perfect. Reality 2.0 simulates your world and links it to cyberspace while providing a clever fusion of popular gameplay styles guaranteed to amuse the statistically average person. <laughs> it's everything for everyone. Then why do you need to hypnotize people with the goggles? We are confident that you will be perfectly happy here and will never want to leave. Ever. These goggle thingies are pinching my head. 
Please be advised that this is a beta version of Reality 2.0, so some features and locations may be incomplete at this time. It figures. Reality 1.0 has the same problem. Enjoy your new reality. Hey, wait. Internet? Didn't she Hello? look like the person Nuts. from one of the previous episodes? Yeah, kinda. Also, is it wrong that every time they've said the internet, all I can think of in my head is the internet is for porn? <laughs> look, Musty the kitty! Nauseatinglycute.com How nice! Sybil set up part of her site just for me! Yes, but only half. What's the lips? Okay, so Testing. we have side. Testing! <laughs> Reality 2.0 has this convenient audio blog feature. This seems like a great way to keep notes and communicate with other players while I'm beta testing. Yeah, no. No oh one cares, God. Sybil. Gonna Sybil's tattoo designs sure are more animated in virtual Wait, space. Wait, does this mean we can go Make in that room? Stop, Sam! I'm getting Sybil's that roiling, vomitous feeling in the pit of my stomach! You may experience some discomfort as you adjust to your new surroundings. Following this brief acclimation period, you will never want to leave Reality 2.0. Ever. You creepy little internet. I like Can we the go in the other door? Visitor six. Wait. Visitor count. Six. Doesn't look like Sybil's had too many visitors. Maybe she should try offering complimentary hot chocolate and selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. Like they do at the public library? Good idea. I'm gonna click the fox. Look! Sybil's creepy fox is here! It's like the twisted, collaborative brainchild of Timothy Leary and Lewis Carroll. Reality 2.0 emulates the design sensibilities of unavailable authors programmatically by applying heuristic statistical methods to samples of text. Sounds like hokum to me. Basically. I wonder if Sybil knows we're in the VR or what? She looks really weird. Oh, well, yeah. okay. Ooh. Oh god, never mind. The outside is oh, where speaking of go god. Oh. Auntie. Oh Hello, my girls. gosh. If you have they're anything to mail, here? hand it over for inspection. Oh god, what are you, a male cop? Don't be a dope. She's obviously a female cop. Oh, Actually, what's the drop I'm a computer here? program. Antibiotic. I guard the internet from nasty, crippling germs and diseases and make sure only legitimate mail gets through. Like religious chain letters and advertisements for performance enhancing medications? From Canada? You got it, hun. <laughs> we just got a dick joke. Hmm? I don't suppose you know anyone by the okay, name of Myra Stump. Oh, sure, sweetie pie. I have to block a ton of a fan email every day. The resemblance between you and Myra is eerie. Really? Well, it's nice of you to say, dear. The internet designed this reality, you know. It picked some of its favorite public figures to represent different functions. You know, to make you player types feel more comfortable. I'm not sure it worked. I wonder... I wonder, wonder if it really is her and she's just under it. I could see that. I mean, I've seen plenty of celebrities voicing characters and games and stuff, so why not? So the plus one is nice. <laughs> see. Uh, what's the one? Yeah, okay. Fair enough, that's what I was about what to ask. What exactly is the symbolism of that insignia on your armor? You mean you're not familiar with the Armorani Masterworks line? If we pretend we know what you're talking about, will you tell us what the heck you're talking about? This is plus one armor. <laughs> Which means... Which means that any weapon plus one or less will be useless as a butter knife on aged cheddar. You don't even know basic weapon armor mechanics? You boys really need to get with it. Does that mean we can get swords and stuff? That'd be really cool. <laughs> Yes, we gotta go see if we well, can get swords. Well, I guess we'll move along now. Don't mail any wooden nickels. Yeah, <laughs> 404. What? Street not found. <laughs> oh, look, the, the computer's loot. But... Hey, mine. Oh, God, it's the look, coin. Max, some form of oversized currency just Ow. hanging in the air. Ten out of ten survey subjects agree. No known experience oh, can match the raw that? exhilaration of repeatedly leaping for things floating just out of one's reach. It's science, Sam. I'm starting to think oh I know God, how Pokemon go. go got its idea. <laughs> Maybe you could throw Max into it. Hey, look. On top of the sign, MP3 downloads plus two. There's a sword up there. Huh. Can we get it? 
Is that a sword up there? Maybe liver and onions have gone fantasy metal. Again. Mm. Maybe I'm a tree grows in reality 2.0. This simulation is totally unrealistic. Realism is so overrated. Reality 2.0 is designed to be superior. Oh god, she's like Navi. Navi? How the fuck do you say Navi. that thing's name? Yeah, Navi is annoying me. Oh, can we just throw Max and see if he lands on the roof and gets us a sword? Let's try that. Come here. Come here. Max! Max, Max come running. here! Nope. Let's get cracking. Oh, damn it, I was hoping we could throw him. Hey, Jack in the Box. <laughs> I really want to just throw him. Jack in the box! Let's kill it! Whoa! Pop-ups! Can't we get away from ads anywhere? We believe that you will want to hear about products available from our sponsors. Pretty solid. All promotions in Reality 2.0 are tailored to the buying habits of the individual user. God swallow. I heard that. Okay, to be fair, that is really oh. adorable. Come, Swallow. I hear that. You <laughs> got Sassy. All right, Should guys. We we'll the rest of this first? Okay. We'll we're gonna end this episode, and we'll see you next time.